Well guys, I got some good news and I got some bad news. Good news is this weekend I'm going on a trip. Uh, the Georgia Traverse goes from North Carolina through Georgia to Alabama. We're going to try and get half of it this weekend, spend one day out there camping, and uh, it should be pretty fun. And I'll be sure to get some good footage for you guys, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But I got some bad news. Bum, bum, bum. I come home on uh, Monday. Notice, new tire flat. Pretty annoying, seeing as how I probably have mm, 200 miles on these things. I did uh, air it up and uh, it it held air for a little bit, but I could hear it leaking out of the, not the actual core, but the valsum itself. So that leads me to believe that the tube is ruptured at some place. To take these off, these are uh, bud studs and they're weird and square and super hard. So I have an impact and of course that would work if I had that square socket, but what I was more worried about is if I'm in the woods, what am I gonna do? Um, of course, I do have onboard air, so I could bring an air tool with me, but let's uh, let's go mechanical. So, unboxing what I got here. It was made in China. So this is what's called a torque multiplier, and what its job is to is to multiply the torque that you can that your body outputs. So we have here is a handle with a nice grip for for gripping. A couple sockets. I did make sure that in this kit uh, it had the correct size I needed. I think it's inch and a half, and then this uh, the square here. So. Let me get this thing set up on the wheel and we'll show you how it works. Here it is set up on the wheel. So what you do, put your socket of choice on this end. This end will rest against either, in this case, it's gonna be this other uh, stud, but it could also rest against the hub if you wanted to. Then take the handle that we talked about with the cool grip, slide it on here. And now this side is, uh, left hand thread so it's it's backwards from what you would normally think you just give this thing a little crank and just like that it takes it off super easy super cheap fifty four dollars I can do this in the woods now so I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, wheel jacked up the axle jacked up here and take this wheel off all right, now that we use the torque multiplier to take all the, uh, to get them loose, all you have to do is, it conveniently comes with this other uh, extension here. You just put the corresponding socket to whatever, uh, whatever lug nut you have. You just put that uh, handle on the end of that and pop them all loose. Now, one other nice feature of this is I'm gonna be able to use it to lower the spare tire which is on this uh, little winch deal there. So I'll go ahead and take that off and uh, load it on the load it on the hub.
here we go new tire mounted uh, what I did is I went ahead and ran these in by hand with the extension there and so now I got this set on there all you do there's no uh, you know directional lever or anything you just simply put the the stop on the correct side spin the lever the correct way and that's it yep so that's it guys uh, I'll uh, go ahead and mount my other spare tire on this winch here and uh, again like I said stay tuned because uh, I will be having some videos of the Georgia Traverse which is what I'm gonna do this weekend I hope this helped you guys out if you're interested in torque multipliers or anything like that if you have any questions feel free to comment below please subscribe and like and uh, see you guys later